Hello, my name is Dolores. I am an evangelical Christian. I am pro-life and I am a lifelong Republican. I come to you today, brothers and sisters in Christ. During this difficult time, I know that you, like me, count the word of our Lord to be integral in our lives. And so I bring to you words from the Bible, Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him, haunty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. Six things that the Lord hates, seven that are abomination, haughty eyes. Trump is a prideful man who does nothing for anybody except for himself. He really does not do anything for us. He does uh, for us only that which will serve him. A lying tongue. Consider that since he was president through July of this year, he has told more than 20,000 lies, 20,000 lies and misstatements. Hands that shed innocent blood. Yes, I am pro-life. I care for the many men, women, and children in this country that are dead because of COVID. He chose to lie to us, to withhold from us, very vital information about the COVID-19 and how much it spreads and how quickly it spreads. He does not lead in this area. Consider the families, the husbands, the wives, the children, the community members, church members that are no longer with us. My friend Tim was a minister. He is dead because of COVID. Consider these things. Consider also that in the federal prison system on death row, there have been more executions since Trump's been in office than in all of the years since 1963 combined total. A heart that devises wicked plans, he allowed our colleagues, our fellow soldiers from the Kurds to be decimated because he wanted to do something for Erdogan in Turkey. Consider this, feet that make haste to run to evil, the things that he has promoted, the things that he has lied about, the things that he has done for white supremacists. Think about this, a false witness who breathes out lies and one who sows discord among the brothers. And that is so damaging to our country. He has continually flaunted the basic rule of law in this country. He has men and women throughout the last number of years that have served in various presidents, both Democrat and Republican, who are saying he is a danger to our country. He is sowing discord among us, among us and the leaders of the countries that are our people that we work together with for everything that stands for this country. Would you want him to be your boss? Would you want him to be your neighbor? Would you want him to be your colleague if you would Consider this, if you do not want him in those roles, why would you want him to be the president of our country to help us to be a people of integrity, a people of honor, a people of depth, empowered? Consider this, fire him. <laughs>